Hello friends and colleagues, today I want to show you mooring to SBM. SBM, the single buoy mooring, is an offshore anchored loading buoy serving as a mooring point for ocean-going tankers loading discharging liquid or gas products. SBMs have the capacity of handling any ship size including very large crude carriers. SBM is connected to the seabed via several anchor chains. A messenger line must be installed in an empty drum at the bow, enough to store a 120 meters or longer pickup rope. So we should transfer our mooring wire first and then install the suitable messenger as advised by the terminal. Our messenger should be 100 meters length or longer as advised by the terminal, with small shackle at the end. On the aft deck another messenger line should be prepared and it will be used by the tugboat. Often a tug is provided at the aft to keep the ship at a fixed angle and distance from the buoy. The ship is made fast to the buoy with the help of a single chain or two, which is secured on board to the bow stopper. At about 120 meters from the buoy, the messenger is connected to the hawser and slowly heaved up. The chief officer or duty officer and the mooring master's assistant will at all times be given the distance and direction from the buoy. You see how the support boat mooring team has connected the ship's messenger with hawser pickup rope. At the boat's signal, the pickup rope commenced heaving up on deck. The headway approach has to be slow, often less than while, at the same time approaching at a smaller angle to the buoy. In general, while approaching single point or single buoy moorings, weather is a major criteria in determining whether to berth the vessel or not. Calm seas with low swell and wind force below 15 knots are considered favorable to make an approach. Presence of strong tidal current limits the interval for berthing and unberthing. Under no circumstances must any load be put on the pickup rope, as this will adversely affect the maneuverability of the vessel and eventually lead to the failure of the rope. The vessel should be brought to a dead stop between 45 and 60 meters from the buoy. At this point the chafing chain is lifted into the bow chalk and then to the bow chain stopper to be secured under the direction of the pilot. The mooring master or chief officer for forecastle of the vessel reports the distance and the position of the SBM in relation to the vessel to the bridge during mooring operations. When the chafe chain comes to the bracket, the locking bar is placed and the safety pin is put through. At this time the ship is considered moored. After the ship is moored, it is very important to note the location of the SBM via the ship and a lookout must be permanently stationed observing the location of the SBM and report to the CCR as per the following diagram. Now you could see the procedure of securing the aft tug.
Tug's assistance is used to pull the vessel astern and clear it of the buoy, especially during heavy weather and strong currents. This maintains the nominal amount of tension on the mooring hoses to prevent contact of the tanker with the buoy structure, as oftentimes uh, the tanker's response time is subsequently slower than the rapid change of weather direction. The connection of cargo hoses is an industrial operation requiring a several number of inspections and precautions. A large percentage of crew injuries on tankers occur while cargo hoses are being connected. A work permit system should be in use before commencement of cargo hose connection operation. I will show only the practical side of the cargo hose connection procedure. By properly positioning the hose stopper, the connection operation becomes safer and easier. The hose is lifted high overside and the hose stopper is passed around it and made fast on deck. As the hose is lowered, the stopper takes up most of its weight, making it easier to maneuver the hose into position for connection. A reliable seaman must be put in charge of handling the hose stopper. Normally, this is a pumpman. Uh, the ship's officer in charge should observe the connection operation carefully to see that it is properly maintained. Adequate support for the hose when connected to the manifold should be provided, where this support is via a single lifting point, such as a ship's crane. The hose string should be supported by bridles or webbing straps. So now the cargo hose is connected. <laughs> Right.